We now continue with an informative presentation by Mike Langlois. Beginning his career as a financial advisor in 1989, Mike Langlois quickly excelled in the financial industry, earning Prudential of America's Rookie of the Year. In his second year, Mike became Prudential's number one investment advisor in Canada and has since consistently ranked among the top 10 advisors in Canada. In 1996, Mike created his own independent operation, Langlois Financial Services. Mike is a certified senior advisor, a member of the Elite Wealth and Estate Planning Group, and a lifetime member of the Million Dollar Roundtable. Please welcome the president of Langlois Financial Services, Mike Langlois. And now, before I go on to my main topic, um, there's always people ask me a lot of questions about what's been happening with me over the last 12 months since the last time we met. Hard to believe it's been a year. So I thought I'd just update you on some of the things that have happened at Langlois Financial since the last time we met. Uh, first of all, um, a lot of you already know this, but we opened a, a brand new office back in 2000, June of 2011 that we're very proud of. We had a ribbon cutting ceremony with the deputy mayor, and many of you came and shared cake and coffee with us, and we chit-chatted, and it made our day that much more special, and we appreciate that support. Uh, we also recently added my oldest boy, Michael, to the office as a licensed marketing assistant, and I know that uh, Peggy really appreciates the extra pair of hands there. We always could use the extra help. And lastly, uh, we celebrated the arrival of our first grandchild, Nathan, perhaps maybe even the future CEO of Langlois Financial. <laughs> looks pretty comfortable in my seat. Uh, I don't know if I should be worried, but he looks pretty confident there. <laughs> anyway... And a lot of people have been asking me for pictures of Nathan, so there you go. <laughs> but now moving on to my main topic. Uh, you know, in my opinion, one of the most misunderstood products in the financial services industry today is a tax-free savings account. And on the surface, it seems so simple, but it can be quite complex. And if it's not set up properly, it can cause you an awful lot more problems than it does benefits. You know, many clients have set up tax-free savings accounts with us. Some have opened them at the banks, and some of them haven't bothered opening them at all. Now, at banks, they're, they're the best at marketing products, especially new ones. But unfortunately, their business model just doesn't allow them the time at the counter to explain the intricate details of every product they sell. And as a result, most tax-free savings accounts that we've seen that have been set up at other institutions have been invested in low-interest-bearing accounts, or GICs, basically defeating the purpose of a tax-free savings account. All you end up accomplishing is maybe a few extra pieces of paper in the mail uh, every week. What I hope to do today is to help you better understand your tax-free savings accounts and how to make them work better for you. Now, we as Canadians have basically two main assets, our homes and or our RSPs. Now, the problem is your home isn't very liquid. And what I mean by that is that in order to get money out of your house, you either have to sell it or take out a mortgage. And both scenarios are very costly. Then there's RSPs. And the problem with an RSP is if you withdraw money from your RSP, it's added to your income and generates huge tax problems. But now you've got the tax-free savings account, which is kind of a third option for your investment planning needs. And they were introduced in 2009, and currently you can invest about as much as $5,000 annually and pay no tax on any of the growth on this plan. Now, we believe the best way to make this plan work for you is to use equities to maximize your returns. And here are some examples of some of the funds that we've used to fund these tax-free savings accounts. Now, when you look at this, you can see that regardless of whether you're using resources, precious metals, dividend funds, specialty funds, they've clearly, in this period of time, outproduced most GICs that you would see out there. Now, many people who have opened tax-free savings accounts with us, and you know who you are, have realized some of these gains that we've just talked about. But unfortunately, when you're investing at other institutions, many people were put into the interest-bearing accounts that I talked about recently. Now, we wanted to give you an example of what we're talking about. We use the TD Canada Trust High Interest Tax-Free Savings Account rate as of today, and it's 1.15%. Well, you don't need a calculator to figure out you're not going to make an awful lot of money on your investment at that rate. Now, I would argue that it's hardly worth setting up a TFSA in the first place for that kind of money. But let's just calculate it all. If you take $5,000 at 1.15%, you're making $57.50 in interest per year. And then if you want to look at the tax savings on that, if you're at the highest marginal tax rate, you're saving as much as $26. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Now, in 2009, when the government introduced the TFSA, 
We at Langwell Financial Services took a lot of time to educate ourselves on the important details and made that information available to all of you. And not everyone was that diligent in the marketplace, and as a result, many people suffered rather than benefited from opening a tax-free savings account. And here are some of the reasons why that happened. When you make a withdrawal from a tax-free savings account, the amount that you withdraw is added to next year's allowable limit. But due to misinformation early on, people were redepositing the amount they withdrew back into their accounts in the same year. This led to over-contribution problems and penalties of 1% per, per month. The problem was so widespread in year one that the government decided to waive all the penalties. And that was quite fortunate for those that made that mistake. But make no mistake, they'll never do it again. Now more recently, we've also noticed that many institutions have neglected to set their accounts up for the most efficient transfer of tax-free savings accounts at death. Many have been set up with spouses listed as your beneficiary, which seems to be the norm with most products. But this means that the tax-free savings account amounts over your spouse's limit cannot remain in a tax-free environment. And furthermore, any income earned between the time of death and the time of claim is taxable to that beneficiary. Now at Langua Financial Services, what we recommend is that the spouses be listed as successor holders rather than beneficiaries. As a successor holder, the inheriting spouse will immediately become the owner of the tax-free savings account upon the death of the contributing spouse, and there'll be no tax implications for the growth realized between the time of death and time of claim. It's also important to note that this money can be kept in your tax-free savings account regardless of the inheriting spouse's contribution room. And now that we've covered some of the you know, most important yet often overlooked points of the TFSA, let's look over some of the basics. Since January 1, 2009, all Canadian residents who are 18 years of age or older and have a valid social insurance number can contribute up to $5,000 annually to their tax-free savings account. Now the $5,000 limit is indexed based on inflation. And the indexed amount would be rounded off to the nearest $500. So for example, assuming that your rate of inflation is 2% in 2010 and 2011, then your maximum amount contributable would be $5,000 for each of those years. And then in 2012, it would increase to $5,500. Now, the tax-free savings account contribution room is shown on your income tax return in the same manner as your RSP contribution limit. And it's shown on that notice of assessment. Now, your TFSA dollar amount limit, $5,000, it, it, it's made up of three things. Your $5,000 limit per year, any unused limits that you have not used in the past, and any withdrawals that are made from the tax-free savings account in previous years, excluding qualifying transfers. And what we mean by that is, say, a transfer from one institution to another. TFSA contribution room accumulates every year, and you don't have to do a tax return or open a TFSA in order to get that contribution room. Now, there's many different types of investments you can put into a tax-free savings account, and I just want to go over a list of the, the different investment options. You can put in cash. You can put in mutual funds, securities listed on designated stock exchanges, GICs, bonds, and certain shares of small business corporations. Now, depending on the type of investment held in your tax-free savings account, you can generally withdraw any amount from your TFSA at any time for any reason and pay no tax whatsoever. And remember, as mentioned earlier, withdrawals from the account in any year will be added to next year's contribution room. Now, we've talked about some of the problems with, that you can face when you're setting up a tax-free savings account if it's not set up properly. Let's take a look at one of the main benefits of having a tax-free savings account. One of the problems people face when they're dealing with retirement income from most sources, such as RSPs or pensions, is that they can be reduced by any taxable income that you have coming in. So as an example, OAS, the Guaranteed Income Supplement, and Employment Insurance Benefits can all be reduced as a result of, income to, uh, of taxable income. But since withdrawals from a tax-free savings account are non-taxable, they don't affect any of these benefits in any way, and that's a huge benefit. Now that covers a lot of the important information with regards to tax-free savings accounts, and I think it also clearly demonstrates the importance of seeking professional advice when you're setting up plans of this nature. And for anyone who would like to learn more, in your folders that we handed out tonight, we've included a booklet from the government outlining every detail about the tax-free savings account. And for those of you who opened accounts with us, you know how well they can work for you. And for anyone who hasn't opened a tax-free savings account and would like to know more, 
feel free to speak to Peggy tonight before you leave or call our office and we can sit down and discuss how a tax-free savings account can work for you. And if you've opened a tax-free savings account elsewhere and would you like would like us to help you with your tax-free savings account, again, please call our office and we'll show you how to go about transferring it to Langwell Financial Services and start getting it to work for you. Now, that's a lot of TFSAs, I'll tell you. <laughs> now, I know many of you attended our seminars many, many times, and there's a lot of faces out here for the first time, and we really appreciate that. But, so at this time, I always like to take a few minutes to tell you what Langwell Financial Services brings to the table for each and every one of you, and I know many of you already know this. At Langwell Financial Services, we promise to meet with everybody face-to-face -face at least once a year at a time and place that you're choosing. If you need to meet with us more, it's not a problem. We'll meet with you as often as necessary, but you know at least once a year, we're gonna to go to your home or to your place of work, and we're gonna sit down and discuss your portfolio. We also wanna make it easy for you to contact us, and that's why if you call our office Monday to Friday from 8.30 to 5, and until 8 o'clock on Mondays and Wednesdays, you'll get, rather than getting a voicemail, you're gonna get a live, friendly voice that's gonna answer all your questions. We also put our cell phone numbers on our business cards because we want you to know that we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it doesn't matter when your problems arise or your questions or concerns, you can give us a call and we'll be there to answer those questions for you. We also boast a very user-friendly website that we're very proud of. And some of the features include our LFS reports, which are quarterly newsletters that keep you up to date on various topics. We also have market updates that are provided by some of the top investment firms in Canada. And you can also access your, your accounts through our website. All you have to do is give Peggy a call, uh, get her to give you a PIN number, and away you go. And I know a lot of you have done that. We also provide occasional emails with information that we think is important, with things as, such as talking about the volatility in the markets, or maybe even just reminders about events like this evening. But to make sure that everybody gets that information, it's important that we get your help. And again, in your folders, we've included client information sheets. And we'd ask that you complete those before you leave and hand them to one of my staff members so that we can update your files to make sure our information is correct and add any information that might be missing. Now, we also do many client events throughout the year. And some of them, like this evening's, are educational to help you keep on top of things and have good people like John come and make some sense of it all for us. And we know that the better you understand it, the more likely you are to invest rather than withdraw and make mistakes that could hurt your portfolio in the future. We also have our RSP weekends, and that's taken a life of its own. It started out as just a, a little thing to give me a little extra time to see everybody, and uh, it's amazing how much people want their coffee donut and their mug. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. I think some people must have eight or nine at home by now. But uh, in any case, if you come to our office on one of these RSP weekends, you're going to be treated to coffee and a donut, and yes, you do get to keep the mug. And you're also going to be asked to pick a prize from our treasure chest, and you might win something nice and you might win something small, but you don't go home empty-handed and uh, we always have a good time. And I'm dead serious about these weekends. If you want to be there on one of those weekends, you should call soon because it's incredible how quickly they fill up. We also have social events from time to time and our, our next social event will be on, uh, is our referral appreciation night. And that's going to be on Saturday, September 28th when Langwell Financial Services will be proud to present Grammy Award winner Sheena Easton live at the Rose Theatre. This event does include dinner, show tickets, and for some of you, uh, lucky few, will get to go backstage and meet Sheena Easton herself. Um, anyone who's referred someone to us in 2011 and in the first month of 2012 will be invited to this event, and it's just our way of saying thank you for supporting us and believing in what we do. Now, as I've mentioned in the past, there's only two ways that our business can continue to grow. And one is that if you need a product or service that we offer, we'd appreciate if you give us a chance to give you a hand. And secondly, if you know somebody that could benefit from what we do, please tell them who we are. Because this way, not only are you helping us, but you're making sure that your friends and your family, people you care about, are getting the same service and advice that you've been accustomed to receiving. Now, in closing, again, I'd like to thank you all for coming. I know there's a lot of things you could be doing, and your time is valuable, and you have no idea how much it means to me when we have a turnout like this. It's phenomenal. And, you know, I want to thank my staff again for doing such a super job 
Uh, my wife, again, makes it look so easy, but uh, as uh, so many people tell me, it's like setting up a wedding every year. And it's incredible, making sure everybody sits with the right people and this friend and that friend, you know. So it, it does take a lot more time than it shows, even though it's very, very, uh, looks very organized. And Charmaine, thank you. You do a super job with that.